like I'm forgetting something. Osseo Jack-O-Lantern. Perfect. Hi Jono, I'm gonna go on a limb here and assume you've read Harry Potter. If not, that's cool. I just felt like I had to pull out my good old Ravenclaw uniform seeing as Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is about to come out. To be quite honest with you, I'm not actually all that excited about the films. I've never actually been a big fan of the films. I just love the books. But having any other new Harry Potter does make me very happy. I can't help but get nostalgic when there's new Harry Potter. I've been watching a little bit of Potter Puppet Pals and a very Potter musical and reading a little bit of the books, which has been a bit of a challenge since I don't actually have them here at college with me. And listening to a little bit of rock with a W, of course. W for the W in Wizard Rock, not like Weezer. I don't know, is there? big Weezer fan. I don't know which is right. Did you read Harry Potter? If so, I've got two questions for you about that. If you have been, who is your favorite character? And if you listen to Wizard Rock, Rock with a W, what was your favorite rock band? My personal favorite's Gret and Forge. Despite how I'm dressed, I used to wear this when I was dressing as Cho Chang quite often. My hair was longer now, it looks a little bit sillier. And I'm not really even acting like her anyways. If I wrote Cho Chang, it'd be a bit more like this. <laughs> my personal favorite character was Remus Lupin because he worked so hard for, to make the lives of other people better, but he, had, he was discriminated against because he was a werewolf. I always liked how he was kind of eccentric and he was a bit of a tragic figure. Many characters die in the series. Then he dies! No spoiler warning. His death is the only one that probably brought me to tears, just because he, he was such a good guy, and he was a little bit angsty, but not nearly as angsty as Harry Potter. He was, he was somebody who knew how to cope with his angst without letting it define him. If you did read the Harry Potter series, like, when did you start reading it? I know a lot of people kind of grew up reading it, but I was sort of a late bloomer. I have a few friends who all talked to them about how they were so disappointed when they turned 11 and they didn't get their letter from Hogwarts, and I was far past 11 when I started reading. I want to say I was probably about 14 when I start, broke into the series, but then I just got hooked. I, that would be a snap if I could snap my fingers, you know, it was, Nah, not a snap. I like my wizard's robes, but I feel like I don't get to wear them often enough. Plus, every time I wear them, I don't feel so much like a wizard as I do like a Sith Lord. <laughs> I guess this is going to be my last video that I'm posting here while I'm at university for about a week. So my next video is I'll be at home. So that'll be nice because you've had a few videos at home, but I kind of haven't managed to leave my room really. So I guess I'll see you Friday, Jono. Bye! So I guess contrary to what I just said about not leaving my room, I've managed to leave it into a mildly familiar location. Door. Um, I forgot to leave you with a punishment, Jono. I don't want to get double punished for not punishing you, which would be odd and slightly redundant. Maybe they cancel each other out. Anyways, I'm going to have to sort out America's budget. So it's a little bit difficult in reality, but not through the simulation provided by the New York Times. As you might have seen John's recent video, allows um, pretty much anybody, as far as I know, um, to go online and to go through various options to try and sort out um, the United States' current budget. Now, that's not too bad, the interactive simulation, but I want you to, in a minute or less, explain your plan in song. No ukulele required. All right, and for the final time, then I will see you on Friday. Bye!